hello, I'm in my laundry mat. There's a man living in my house. That sounds so ominous, I'm just saying. Uh, there used to be nobody in the room next to me, and now there's somebody in the room next to me, and that makes me feel a certain type of way. So I'm just gonna be recording in various locations from <laughs> here until further notice. I hope nobody comes here because this is like a communal, a like community laundry bag. So somebody could walk in, but I'm just gonna be like, oh, I was washing my clothes. Okay, so I just checked out the audio and I feel like it's not that bad, so I'm just gonna scream over the air conditioner for now. So let's start with the items. This is a Happy Bunny sign. It's like tin, it was two dollars. It says Trespassers Butcher. I wanna put this on the other side of my room so people know not to go in my room. I also got this huge Hello Kitty wooden, just, I don't know what this is. It was attached to a pillow and then I ripped the pillow off because I just wanna put this on my wall. There's like some dirt on it in like the tin too, but it's stuff that comes off. I just haven't washed it yet. So I wanna put this in my room. There's definitely more items, but they're at the bottom of the bag. So I'll just do it later. And here's this cute Hello Kitty bag that's white and the monogram is like, silver and sparkly bows and I attached this cute pink Tamagotchi and this little snowflake charm. I have, I just recently thrifted a Littlest Pet Shop Tamagotchi there at the bottom of the bag and then I got two more off of Facebook Marketplace. You gotta stay tuned to see these Littlest Pet Shop Tamagotchis. You can't cook away. Here's this sick black and orange contrast stitch jacket with these asymmetrical pockets. And on each pocket, it has a little sword, which is so cute, and a little peace sign on the main zipper. I don't know if it's supposed to be a peace sign, but that's what I interpret it as. This top by the brand Ol Ol. I have another top by this brand. I wore it in one of my last videos, and it has a little cold shoulder, which I think is so cute. This is one of those things that's cuter on because you can like, see your shoulder and it's lined with rhinestones and these little black ruffles. And these closures in the middle. This t-shirt, the band Garbage. Ever since I got this shirt, I've just been re-listening to a bunch of garbage. I love that it's white and pink too because I have like a little grunge alternative moment, but it's white and pink. I got two blankets. So here's this skull and star fleece blanket super cute. I also got this twilight blanket. So it has Edward's face on it and it's a breaking dawn. I think it's super cool but also so funny like just his huge face on a blanket. It's also especially right now now that he was just Batman it's super topical. <laughs> this adorable brown long sleeve top with this monkey and it's glittery and he's a little angel and it's by Streetwear Society, Old Sirens and like Urban Planet, like they also like their old tag was Urban Behavior, like this shit goes off and I don't know what happened, I don't know why they fell off, I don't know why stuff is so shitty now, but where are the blue glittery monkeys? Because when I walk by in the mall I don't see any blue glittery monkeys. I'm so happy to find these because I have huge feet, like I have size 11 men's feet, and these awesome white platforms, I've never thrifted platforms in my size, and these are costume shoes, I know because the size is size medium, I think you can get these on like shoefreaks.ca, um, I've worn these already, but I got like really bad scuffing on them, and I'm wondering like, is this, is there any way? to fix this or are they permanently like that because that's not a big deal if they are permanently like this I'll probably just paint something fun on these but I would prefer to have like nice white shoes like this so if you have a tip for that let me know and speaking about you guys giving me tips so somebody on my last video was like you can use a seam ripper and get rid of the stuff on the other side that you don't like 
And I did that. I went to Lola's house and she did it for me. And thank you so much to the person who said that. We, oh, I, for, I don't remember your name, but we love this person. This super cute green and pink crop jacket has some blue stripes in here too. And all of the zippers have little flowers. There's some on the pockets too. And it's by this brand called Firefly. And it has a little pink heart here and a pocket on the other side. I love this and I love a fur hood. I also got this super cute Webkins necklace. This is like the little dog. I want this new pet sweater. This is sweater on Depop where it has like a bunch of little little pets on there, but it's fifty dollars, and I don't know if I want to spend fifty dollars on a new pet sweater, but I also want the new pet sweater. You get me? So here are these flared pants by Ray for Real, and it has the Statue of Liberty, and it's like velvet but also sparkly. I hope you can see that. And they're like dead stock too, they still have the tags on. That's awesome. Here's a ruby glue tote bag. And I love bags like this for like when I'm going to somebody's house and I need to bring my makeup. Like throwing like all my makeup in a bag like this and putting this in another bigger bag is what I like to do. And this little heart is so adorable. I got this hat for work because you can either wear a hairnet or a hat. I don't know if the hairnet's necessarily my thing. I don't know if it's cute. So I've been trying to get cute hats. And here's this little like pirate monkey and he's holding two knives. And I feel like it's cute too because I'm like cutting stuff up at work. I haven't worn leggings in a long time, but these won me over because they're flared leggings. And there's these rainbow butterflies and it's the exact same like it's a symmetrical pattern on the back and I love that these like go like I don't know if you can see it's like a little V um and it's by this brand oh, Naomi and it was like designed in Toronto which I think is so cool this tag is so cute with the different colors for each letter I, I've been wearing these all the time just because they're so comfortable and like there's so many different colors you can match things with these pants are super cool. They're these pajama fleece pants with these skulls and pink stars in different sizes. And it's by the brand Eyeshadow. And it had both of the drawstrings. One of the drawstrings is just like in there. It didn't come like that. That's my own wrongdoing. But I've been wearing these all the time. I also got these pajama pants. They're pink leopard and have like this green stripe on the side because I think it would look super cute with this top that I have, just cause it's cat vibes, but pink and green. And it's by Lazenza, like the candy line. I got this Angel Hello Kitty cloth with the, the other box that I got. I got them from the same lady. I just thrifted this little Hello Kitty tin with these like jewel fruits, which is just the cutest thing ever. And there's these little, pink rhinestones on here I love I probably I don't know if I'm gonna put in this yet but maybe like all of my lip balms or something like that these wide leg black pants with pockets on both sides and they have like these little bow ties that I I tied them up already there's also like these grommets and this D ring on the back it's by Lady Hathaway this plain red and black mini skirt by Hot Topic. I already have so many like red plaid skirts, but I don't have one in this specific colorway or size, so it's different. I have this problem where I gain and lose weight like so often that I have no idea what I want to like keep in my closet, which is why my room is so messy right now because I'm like, am I gonna be this size tomorrow? Or should I get rid of this because you shouldn't like hold on to things, but also it's not unrealistic that I'm going to change weight soon. And I love this enough to where I would want to keep it in case that happens. Let me know if you relate because I'm struggling here. This amazing mini dress um, with these strawberries and polka dots and this little cute red bow here. It's by this brand Body Pops. I love that tag too. And this is the perfect type of dress 
that you can wear over a pair of jeans, like light blue jeans or white, red, green, pink, any of those would work with this. I wish this fit me, it's a little bit too small, but. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. This cool lip service mini dress, um, and it's black, but it has this neon green fishnet overlay, and it has like an open back with like crisscross black straps, I don't know what to call that. And honestly, I'm not gonna wear this on its own just because I don't like how it like, I don't really like skin tight things like this, like skin tight things work, but just not a bodycon dress and I just don't like how it looks on my arms. So you're gonna have to see how I style this. I have an idea. I don't think I'm gonna have the emotional capacity or energy to show you in this video, but one of the ideas is that I have this little skirt, garter belt, but it's also a skirt. And this would also look so cute over the, um, the rainbow butterfly leggings. I've tried that too, and I love it. So like this over that dress, but also I have another pink oversized fishnet top that I think it would all look good together. You're just gonna have to wait. You're just gonna have to, it's, you're just gonna have to follow my Instagram. This mini overall dress with like this pleated skirt at the bottom, it's by this brand Hydraulic. It's so cute. That's the only word I know apparently, cute and adorable. But what else am I supposed to say when everything means tall is cute? This shirt with the strokes on it, I feel like I would look like such a douchebag in this shirt if I also wore glasses to like match the on it. Not that I want to look like a douchebag, I just think that look would be funny, I don't know. I also got this little tiara headband. I should have been wearing this the whole time, but I lost my other tiara, and honestly I like that one more. This one's kind of like smaller, the other one like went all around, but this is good for now until I find another tiara that I like more. I got these brand new twin star blotting papers and you're gonna gag it's like a little pop-up with an elephant and a lamb on a cloud and they have squirrels and cats on their head and this was made in japan only in 2013 but it was still brand new oh i love this this is the cutest thing to pull out of your bag and be like oh i'm just i'm looking a little oily right now do you see the lamb oh my god the air conditioner turned off I got these Calvin Klein ear muffs and I got these a while ago. I wore these like all throughout winter. They're super cute and big. I love it. I wish I could show you the packaging for this. I forgot it in my room, but I got this little stationery set for this beautiful girl named Hat Fairy and I've never heard of her. And look, she has this cute little hat on too. I have these pencils and like scissors. And I have like another version in pink where she's riding like a little broom, but like the broom is a heart. It's so adorable. I've never seen Hat Fairy before, but I hope I find more Hat Fairy things. This bubblegum pink belt, these stars and grommets. I also just got this glittery belt with these star grommets, not stars and grommets. The grommets are stars if you get but I'm putting down this skull cup, this glove. I have the matching glove in my room and they're actually kid sizes. So the other one I cut already, you just cut the ends off and then you can wear it like as a fingerless glove. And you can do the exact same thing with um, socks that have like the toe, the little, the little pocket for your toe. You can just cut the ends of those off and like wear them as fingerless gloves too. That's what I've done for this pair of like rainbow Hello Kitty socks, but this is super cute. This would match with the um, address I put in another video. This Domo pin where he has headphones on and he's posing all sexily for you. And also this little cute pink rhinestone music note. If my nails look dirty in this video, it's just hair dye, okay? This adorable, Gloomy Bear and Hello Kitty phone keychain. I usually have this on my phone, but I took it off to show you. 
And I didn't see like in the photo because I got this off of Facebook Marketplace that she was holding ketchup. I thought it was blood and it still looks like blood from afar. I love ketchup. I, I eat it every day. So that's not a problem for me. But this was made in Japan only too. It's super cute. For full disclosure, I didn't thrift this, so sorry if I clickbaited you or some shit. I don't know what the thumbnail is yet, but it's this amazing Hello Kitty side bag. And I got this off of Facebook Marketplace, and I put these little strawberries on here. I also got this off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. I have the matching bag of this in pink. If I... I need someone who wants to wear the pink one with me and we do matching pink and black fits, but it's just a black fur bag with her face on it. These are the last things I'm going to show you. It's the littlest pet shop Tamagotchis. I have another, I'll show it soon. I got two pink ones, this cool toned pink one, and um, I got a warm toned pink one too, and it still has like the little dog on it. He honestly looks really ugly. I also got this yellow and blue one, and the best thing about this is the insane detailing on the, the lobster clasp here. Like, there's these little uh, flowers and just, just super intricate details. And I also love that they have these little hair brushes and, like, I don't even know if this is some other hair accessory hanging. Because it, it just looks so cute on your bag when it's, like, dangling around. I love these. And, yeah. That's all. I'll show you the other littlest pet shop Tamagotchi in the next video. What else is there to say? Go comment on my Instagram and say, I miss you so much. I can't wait to hang out this summer. Because <laughs> I'm not talking to that many people right now. And we, we need to keep up the mirage that like I'm social and I'm outgoing and I'm doing things and I'm talking to people. And like we're going to go to summer camp together. So if you say like, miss you so much girl like do you remember summer camp of 08 you got kind of crazy i'm gonna i'm gonna respond but i miss you too even though i've never talked to you before like it doesn't matter what our connection currently is just like throw some bullshit out there and i and i would love that a lot you don't have to but if you made it this far in the video why not okay that is all goodbye you're still here you can't get enough of me. Okay, I'm hungry. Goodbye.